Welcome to Discover Talent Presents folks. I'm your host Vinod. In this series, we're gonna cover how to create a control chart. Okay, control chart is an effective tool. It's widely adopted by Six Sigma experts. Okay, managers, okay, and majority of the processes it adopted. Cool. So a control chart. So what is the use of control chart? Okay, so control chart is a statistical tool which used to monitor and control a process to ensure that it remains stable and within a predetermined limits. Now, how we can determine those limits, which will be covered in this particular series entirely. Okay. Now, if you could see over here, we have this random data sets added over here, day wise, right? Day one until day ten, and the measurement is the sample data set. Cool. Just for an educational purpose, we are creating this series. Uh, okay. This will help you to understand how we can create a control chart in Excel. Cool. So let me give you a brief introduction about UCL. Cool. UCL is a upper control limit, the upper threshold that process should not exceed. Cool. And the LCL, which means that lower control limit, the, the lower threshold that process should not fall below. Cool. So these are the determined limits which we are discussing over here. And this is just a control limit for us. Now it's a very simple to add a formula over here, right? First, it's a mean. Mean we can consider this as an average as well. Mean is equal to average. I will insert this number. Bracket close, press enter. So I got this number over here. Cool. This is my mean. Now, what I'll do over here? Okay. I want to calculate a standard deviation okay for this particular formula so I'll simply press is equal to sign standard deviation which is this and then this is the measurement for me cool so this is the number which we are getting over here folks you can reduce it till like this 1.9 or maybe directly 2 like I'll, I'll keep it this as a 1.9 that's completely fine okay now what I want I want a average plus 3 okay into a standard deviation okay you can do it uh, with the help of simple formula like you know we are doing is equal to and then doing a average plus 3 and then this particular sign instead of doing this manually right so we can do it like this okay average I will select this entire range first bracket close and then I'll say plus 3 okay this is my upper limit hence it's a plus 3 into a standard deviation which we calculated earlier which is this again what we gonna do we will be selecting this okay as soon as I press enter I'll get a result okay so now here what I was explaining earlier you can instead adding this formula you can directly get this reference as well otherwise you can simply just add a formula over here I prefer this technique is easy to relate that which reference it is okay so that's the reason I'm adding a whole formula altogether press enter so you will get a result like this simply just copy this once again okay we gonna add the same for LCL as well okay now as it's LCL itself it's clearly defined it's a lower control limit which means that we need to ensure that the number which we are adding over here as a plus would be in minus state cool so let me just adjust that formula here and then I'll simply press OK. Cool. As soon as you're done, simply just select this entirely, copy this, convert this into a values. I have pressed Control Alt V and then values. 
I'll simply select this and then control D. Now what I got, I got the values added over here and I don't need this value as such. Simply, I'll just delete this, right? It's a very simple task, okay? So let me summarize this activity, what we have did so far. So we have just simply added the random data set over here. We calculated a average first, okay? At the UCL, okay? We calculate the LCL and we converted this value into a simple in values section where our formula will be removed automatically. Cool. So far we are aligned, right? So let me just insert a chart over here. Okay. So control chart basically. Cool. So I'll just select this entirely from measurement to until column F, which is my LCL. I'll go into a insert ribbon tab. And then there is an option called line. I'll simply click over here the first one which my which is my straightforward line okay I'll just simply select this cool so here we simply added the control chart so let me just adjust this legend over here cool and I'll say this as a control chart for my process this is my control chart let me just adjust this once again format legend to the top itself okay I don't want here and there and I don't want a background grid line so that's the reason I'll just turn that off background grid lines and uh, cool so let me just select this and enter it like this cool here and we can see over here okay there are the number of styles available you can pick it out anything if you need it okay I am good with it okay with this particular control chart this is a basic one okay which will help me to understand process stability right let me explanation about this right measurement is measurement is basically you know moving like this okay and this is our control limits okay the middle central control limits and the upper control limit this and the its lower control limit so this is how we have beautifully added a control chart okay once again if you want to design this or maybe redesign it basics your process requirement you can do that as well in chart design simply just click on this colors and then simply pick basis your requirement and you can easily pick anything yeah I'll select this this particular color and I'm good with it also add the elements if in case you need it right these are the segment we can see it right it's a predefined segment over here you can simply pick it out and the basis your requirement you can just adjust it okay but I would recommend it's uh, more than enough if you can you know simply follow these steps okay to add your control chart for your processes once again thanks for watching and have a great day ahead